My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. You want a hot rod that you can easily, comfortably seat for adults? This is it. 1937 Ford convertible with a liftoff top. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study 100 pictures, get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy the videos. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified when a new one is posted. But for right now, the top is off. Let's go for a spin in this 37 Ford. Yeah, four, four passengers. Most of the hot rods, little coupes, you're scrunched in there. Uh, the big fat fendered cars are more comfortable, but not too many of them. You can easily fit four adults. You could fit five adults, actually. This is an all fiberglass, new, new construction. <clears throat> has about 16,000 miles on it since it was built. Underneath is a TCI frame, all painted and boxed. Uh, it has a Mustang II front end, so it's all rebuilt. The bushings, ball joints, everything's new. Uh, it's got the coil over shocks, um, disc brakes, rack and pinion steering. In back, it has new leaf springs with lowering blocks, uh, new shocks in back. It's got stainless steel mufflers, nice sounding exhaust system. Uh, it's Chevy running gear, it's a 350 motor, a turbo 350 automatic, um, brakes, uh, everything under the, the car was new at the time of the build. It's power brakes. So the body is exceptionally nice. It's a fiberglass car, it is really straight. Every panel from every angle, it is straight. And I'm gonna say it fits real nicely. The paint is polished smooth and glossy. Maybe there's a flaw if you look for it. There's some like little divots in the paint looking for them. But just overall, it's, it's like a mirror, very glossy. Kept real clean, doesn't really have a lot of the trim. Does have the original glass uh, Ford headlights. It even has Ford script right there. Uh, the bumpers uh, are not on the car. Just again, a nice clean look has weld aluminum uh, wheels, bigger in the back, of course. Now the running boards are painted with the real durable chip guard, and you can see it's color matched to the car, so you don't have to worry about scuffing the paint. Uh, when they're glossy, they always get scratched eventually, no matter how careful you are. Uh, it does have some hand pinstripe. The doors open by remote, which I'll show in a minute, but it's a Carson liftoff top. You'll see it in the pictures on our website. It's uh, and upholstered with the hearts cloth, tan cloth material. It lifts off with two people. It's got some latches in a few locations. Uh, the rear windows set in place once the top is on. The door windows are both power. Uh, trunk compartment opens with the lever inside. I've already released it. Uh, we have a car cover in there, but it's a big boxed and upholstered uh, trunk compartment. The gas filler is inside there. Actually offers fairly good amount of room. This is called the slant back. They have the hump backs, and this is the slant back. Uh, it has custom billet tail lights down there. Here is the Dakota Digital door poppers. Opens on both sides by remote. Open the hood. <clears throat> it's got a billet mirror. The engine's a 1970 350. That's good because 70 was the peak of performance. It's a good, good block, good engine to have. It's got Brodix aluminum valve covers, a Brodix aluminum intake. I think it's an Edelbrock carb hiding underneath there. This has air conditioning system. All the hoses are run neatly. Chrome alternator. Uh, it has a modern power steering with the remote reservoir. Firewall smooth. Uh, it's got twin electric fans in front of the radiator. Uh, it's painted up nicely. Polished overflow bottle. The distributor looks new. The wires are nice. Just a, a clean, simple engine compartment. Same with the underneath of the car. Just 
straightforward, clean, proper. Nothing's hokey. There aren't like wires hanging and uh, it all looks proper. Got some nice door panels, uh, nice leather seats. Uh, the bottom cushion of both of them, there's leather cracks. It's not split, but it has leather cracks in it. Very roomy. Uh, that side, both sides are power. They both recline. It has a nice tilt column with a beautiful Grant polished wood steering wheel. It's got a set of classic instruments gauges, a full match set, uh, vintage heat and air uh, controls. The vents are built into the dash. It has a CD stereo. Uh, the previous owner just put in a backup camera. A little bit hard to see backing up with the top on. We'll fire it up for you. Comes with two key fobs. All sorts of room. You're a big guy, uh, no problem here. If I can find the right key. Headlight knobs under the dash. Got just over 13,000 miles. This is a cruiser. The carpets are a little sun faded. So still nice enough to go to any cruise night, any car show. Nothing to be embarrassed of. Be proud to show it off. But the biggest thing is you can go out to dinner, you can invite another couple to go with you, you can go on an overnight trip with the kids, you got room in the trunk, not for the kids, but for your luggage. Nice cruiser of a car. And if you go to volocars.com, that's where you can find plenty of ways to contact us. We can help answer any questions you have about the car, the process, the delivery, the financing. Let us know how we can help. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thank you for watching.